Uh, people gathered in pockets around Terre Haute to bid Officer Long farewell. Many of them gathered at the Vigo County Courthouse. News 10's Joe Ostrowski was there. He tells us just how the crowds paid their tribute. Holding their hands on their hearts and wearing their hearts on their sleeves, folks from every walk of life lined the streets to honor Officer Brent Long. While the flags of the Vigo County Courthouse flew at half staff, Former police officer John Triffs flew the flag of the National Police Memorial. I'm a retired police officer, and that line is indescribable. Nearby, members of the Vigo County Sheriff's Posse groomed their horses for a final salute to Officer Long and to his family. We love them, first of all, and uh, God will be with them, and we want to be here for them. And even the youngest of the community stood tall to give their support. I don't know the police officer. I didn't know him, but I came out here to respect him because he gave our lives, his life for our community. Soon police cars began streaming past, coming by the hundreds. Every time we see an officer, we should thank them. Uh, whether you knew the people or not, when something like this, this tragic happens, uh, it hurts. It hurts a lot. That hurt grew palpable at the procession's end when Officer Long was carried past on a final ride through the city he served. Words seemed to fail. And the only sounds were the hum of engines and the hush of grateful hearts. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Nick Nebesny, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Now, if you watched any of the procession, you know that dozens of police departments were present. Among them were officers from as far away as Michigan and Kentucky.